Good evening and welcome back to Fantasy Farming Orange Season. I'm Modi Apparatus. We're back with our little Modi here, our teal haired Modi. We're about to plant some stuff here. Uh, let's see. If I switch this to. Let's see. There we go. Get this out so we can plant some more turnips out there. Um, I got a couple of turnips out there. Okay, cool. We need the watering can back once more. There we go. So, uh, yeah, so people have enjoyed, it seems like, overall the first episode, um, on the whole. Uh, some people are concerned about, like, you know, art styles not doing it for them, and that's, you know, subjective, I suppose. Some people are gonna like it, some people aren't. Um, you know, it's an early access game, too. I mean, some things will change. I mean, every, every, every single sprite here could change down the road, too. Uh, who knows, you know? A lot of, a lot of things that could happen. So, uh, something to keep in mind. I mean... There's a lot that can go on with the development, and this has been in development for a few years already. Uh, I was looking at some of the discussion on Steam about the game, just to see where people's heads are at with it, and, uh, you know, what people are thinking about it. Obviously, there's a lot of comparison to Stardew Valley, and, of course, Harvest Moon, which is intended. I mean, this is an homage to Harvest Moon, for sure. And he says right explicitly it is influenced by Harvest Moon completely. Um, the thing about Stardew Valley, though, this was started in development before that was, it seems like, or, or maybe concurrently, somewhat. So, there's a possibility that, I mean, they're just both based off of Harvest Moon. Hey, pup. Hello. Oh, I didn't mean to water you. I just want to talk to you. I want to talk. Hey, puppy. How's it going? So, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of that going on, but that's mostly what I've seen. People don't, you know... People, uh... Assume it's based off of Star Wars Valley or something like that. It's, it doesn't seem like it is exactly, but the thing is, it does bear comparison to it. I mean, of course, you release a game like this in the era that we're in, you're gonna have that. So, we're getting kind of the, out to the wilds of that. I just want to kind of explore around a bit and see what we can see around here. No real intention in mind here. We're watering a, watering a rock now for no reason. Uh, I don't have anything to do with anything though. We need tools because there's all this stuff that blocks us off There's a stump here that blocks us. We'd like to need an axe and stuff um, And we can really get exploring here. There's I've, as far as I know, there's no map um, There's a go home button. That's kind of fun. I might have to take advantage of that later I want to I want to pull stuff off this tree here. There we go Ooh, a turtle. Hey turtle. How's it going? Can I feed you an orange? No? Can I just pick you up and take you home with me? That'd be amazing. Lots of fish. We gotta get a fishing pole and stuff like that, because this would be a good fishing spot right here. I just wanna get the lay of land a little bit here and see what's all out here. Um, I have not found other tools. Right now we have the hoe, and that's about it. Um, so there's that. There's more stumps here to get rid of, too. So I'm thinking as we, as we upgrade our weapons and tools and stuff like that, I mean the weapons, I don't think there actually is anything weapony in this game. Um, the developers said that there is some influences from Legend of Zelda in this, which would make me think, oh yeah, there's gotta be some fighting or something like that. Not necessarily, I mean, Harvest, Harvest Moon does not have any fighting, so it stands to reason that this wouldn't either. But, uh, that said, he might mean the kind of equipment gating of, of, of uh, Zelda as the as the, uh, what the comparison there is. Where can we buy tools? You know, ma'am? Do you know? Chloe. Ah, there's another new face in town. Are you Modi? I am, uh-huh. Are you, and you are? I'm Chloe. I heard all about you from Julia. Farming is dreadfully hard work. You're certainly going to need plenty of calories to finish those chores every day. Come by the restaurant sometime. It'll fix you something delicious on the, on the house. Call it my way of welcoming, saying welcome to Orange Town. Wow, thanks. I'll definitely take you up on that. What's this say? Can't read that. Okay. This is like a restaurant with a nice piano. Oh man, there's like a stage here? Cool. Alright. Well, we'll come back here for a free meal sometime when we're feeling uh, into that. So, I have not seen the hearts over in the top left go down at all yet. I mean, we're just not doing enough work. Could be. We need tools though. We need tools. Okay, we're gonna take a sleep here. And then uh, come back the next day, and maybe we can get some tools finally. We'll have to we'll maybe be more systematic about how we explore around town here. All right, let's go to sleep, and then come back the next day. Oh, you know what we should do is sell off all of our oranges here too. We I mean, don't need to carry around that many oranges, right? All right, we got spring three year one. Another bright shining day. Oh, is it a bright shining day? Let's find out. It says sunny. All right, so we got some chores to do. We got to water our plants. Oh, hello, wait. Hello? Hey, pup, how you doing? Hey, little boy, are you, are you tired yet? 
Uh, why would we do we know this dog? So where do you come from? Is this dog yours? Hello. Yes, it's mine. Then get it off my lawn. Just kidding. Don't worry about it. But actually, I brought him to Orange Town today because I have too many puppies already. Oh. <gasps> this one seems to have liked you. Do you want to keep him? Of course we do. Yes, yeah, sure. Seems like a funny fella. Does he have a name? Not yet. You can choose a good one. Oh, sweet. What does he look like? He looks like a... Um, uh... Quentin. He looks like a Quentin. What a great name. We'll take good care of Quentin. What's your name again? Modi. Nice to meet you. My name is Mia. Take good care of Quentin. Ah, sweet. Is I think I think maybe be the Quentin Ter 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 Terrier Tino. Maybe was what I was going for there. I don't know. Bad pun though. Dad puns full force today. Oh, look at those turnips though. Uh, let's get this watered here quick. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just get all this water here, and then we gotta go on a hunt for some tools. We'll we'll not let's stop until we find them. It's Tuesday, perfect time to buy tools. Uh, oh, we can't even get over here anymore. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have a big old watering problem here. I did not plan accordingly because we can't actually get into our barn anymore. Pup, you gotta, oh, I can pick him up. Can I put him in my rucksack? Nope, okay, can't do that. Thank you for the alarm there. Oh, uh, there we go, go go play, go play. Um, So we made a mistake here for sure. Let's do this, there we go. Let's move this all out of the way. Let's put this over here. Let's put this here. All right, this is this, this is all going to plan here. So nothing's, nothing's in the way at all. Perfect. Now we still can't get to watering those, so we'll have to um, take these out though. There we go. <laughs> gotta, gotta make the farm fit the crops, maybe, instead of making the crops fit the farm. At least initially. I didn't plan ahead, really, when I laid these crops in. Gotta plan ahead. That's the, that's one of those keys with Har Harvest Moon, for sure. Always plan ahead. Oh, let's put this in our pack for a second. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go like this. And then we got the one in our rucksack, like that. Okay, that'll work. Now we can get everything watered, I think, except for those that one right there. Um, it is not convenient for watering though, for sure. So, we'll have to, next time we plant stuff, these only take like five days to grow, we can deal with it for a week. Um, but, these ones are gonna die right now, that one right there is gonna die unless we get a tool to remove that, that weed there. And the hoe won't do it, so, something to keep in mind next time. I didn't realize we couldn't just walk across stuff. And that might be that might be the the Stardew Valley uh, influence. I think Stardew can just walk across your crops without harm. Here, not so much. And I I believe in the old Harvest Moon, you had to you had to avoid walking on your crops altogether. And you, you sometimes you couldn't, sometimes you could. Which if you did walk on them, it would be bad for them. So makes sense to me though. Makes sense to me completely. Okay, so let's be a little more systematic this time around. Let's go a little left here this time. It's, we're getting outside of town for sure here. I did see a bench over here though. That's kind of nice. Nice little park. Lots of weeds, though. Lots of weeds to deal with. So yeah, this is not getting us any closer. We need to visit each of the buildings, I think. And uh, that's where we gotta find our tools. Now the the um, general store did not have anything like that. It just had the seeds, right? We can take a look there in a minute here. There was a shop that didn't open till noon. That was the library, though, I think. So the, sh the this is the general store. He didn't have any tools here, right? I can't just ask about tools, though, can I? Okay. I want to buy some tools. All right. Well, he's already gotten our shipment for the day. We got like uh, like $130 for the, the oranges we picked up yesterday, so it's not substantial, but it's a little something, something. Better than nothing, nothing. Closed today. Closed on Tuesdays. Okay, good to know. This is a horse symbol on the side here. No, not going that way. Okay. Let's go south again. Oh, you don't know, here. Let's open this up. We can. Nope, can't do it. Okay, interesting. Um, hmm. We got a beach or just desert? Can I pick up the shells? No, I can't. Water the shells, I guess. Uh, 
There we go. Alright, let's see what this one is. Did we get in here before? I don't remember. Oh, hey. Hello. So, you're the new farmer in town, huh? My name is Stella. I'm gonna help out Abigail's ranch and manage the store there. Stop anytime you need to buy something. Do you have any advice for me? Advice? Get yourself a stiff upper lip and get ready to work. You'll be toiling from dusk to dawn every single day, rain or shine. Don't want to hear any complaining from you either. If you've got time to complain, you've got time to shut up and work. Okay. <laughs> work hard enough, you'll get ahead with a little bit of luck. And by luck, I mean work. <laughs> you make your own luck in this life. Don't go relying on other people either. The only person you can rely on is yourself. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Some stern advice. You do that, Modi. I'll see you around. Stern advice from Stella. Hey, Abigail. Hey, are you the new farmer my sister Julia was talking about? Yep, that's me. My name's Modi. Welcome to Orangetown, Modi. My name's Abigail. I'm also a farmer here. Really, that's cool. Do you have any advice for me? I don't work on the field as much these days, but I can say it's important to eat a lot so you don't run out of stamina. There are lots of orange trees around town. It's a good way to recover some energy. You can also sell them for some quick cash. Well, that's great advice. Thanks so much. See you around, Modi. I want to buy tools. You know where I can get tools? So this is... Is this... Oh, buy animals. So we can buy chickens, goats, bull. Bull. Buy a bull. 10,000. Don't buy a bull. What else can we buy? Cows? What is, what's the chicken cost? Chicken costs... 1,500? Oh, jeez. Alright. Chickens are expensive, apparently. I don't know if in reality they are. I mean, I never bought, like, a chicken. I know if I buy them from the store, they're not that expensive, but they're usually dead and cooked. So... Live chickens, they would, they would cost less than a cooked chicken, right? It has to. I mean, how, how would you pay more for a cooked chicken? Or, yeah, you have to be able to pay more for a cooked chicken than you would for a regular chicken. A live chicken? There's just no, there's no economy there if they cost too much. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this open. I want to open this. Nah. Right, we're back over here. Take a look up here. We came this way before. Did we go into this building? I can't recall. somebody else's farm what was this one this was the this is the store okay that's the store the store Modi did you by chance see the Saki just now what uh, the little prankster that ruined all of today's food uh, who oh you don't know about the Saki 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 he's a young prankster lives in the forest near our town Today he dropped flies on my food and spilled salt over the kitchen. When I got into the kitchen, he disappeared in a whirlwind. In a whirlwind? Yes, just one of his powers. Nobody ever managed to catch him because of it. Seems like a very annoying person. Yes, he's not really a bad guy. It doesn't mean any major harm. There's no minor... But there's no minor harm that he won't do. Well, I have to prepare more food. See you later, Modi. Alright. Well, no food, I guess. No food at the restaurant today. Alright, so... Uh, man... We gotta find tools. We gotta find tools. That's basically it. We can't do much without tools. So, nothing up there. We went this way before? We didn't hit these buildings up before. What does this one say? Victor and Richard's house? Yes, the blacksmith should have tools for us. Okay, let's take a look here quick. He didn't want to talk to us before about stuff. How are your tools holding up? Not getting dull or chipped, are they? If you need to repair, you know where to bring them. Okay. What is my brother doing? I want to hang out with him. What is my brother doing? I want to hang out with him. Can we get this one open? Oh, this is like a nice house. Yeah, and then we got the forge over here. We can we can sharpen our tools for us, but we can't uh, we can't buy new ones. So there's got to be somebody else here that sells the new ones. That's the reason. My clinic. Okay, that's not it. Uh, let's go this way. Nope, can't do it. So it's not super clear where we can walk through and where we can't. But it seems like the edges of maps are sometimes passable and sometimes aren't. Like this seems like it would be passable, but it's not. Uh, let's go take a look and see if we can talk to the clinic here, though. Hello there, what's your name? Didn't your mama teach you not to talk to strangers? Uh, I'm not a stranger. I live, I'm, I live on a farm. I'm Modi. That's not how you introduce yourself. You're supposed to say, my name is Modi. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I'm not winning people over. My name is Modi. It's, no it's nice to meet you. Very good. My name is Philema. Philomena. Philomena. Phil Phil Philomena. Bye for short. It's nice to meet you, too, Modi. 
You should definitely buy a horse first thing. Horses are beautiful and awesome and riding is super duper convenient. Thanks. Hello, Bonnie. Well, 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 what have we here? I'm Modi. I moved here to become a farmer. Farming? Oh, that's a dangerous occupation. You could put an eye out with that hoe or lose a few fingers swinging the scythe around or catch a terrible illness from your cows. You'll come see me next time that happens, right? It won't be cheap, but I'll fix you up good as new. Uh, okay. Thanks for that. Uh, I'll be careful. Promise. Uh, but I'm so lonely we don't have any patience. The girl's gotta make a living somehow, you know. Bonnie, you just trying to get us sick so we can pay you money? Are you sure you won't fall and break your arm picking fruit or at least catch a cold from working too hard? I can try to catch a cold. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'll try to catch a cold sometime. You will? What a little darling you are. <laughs> Anytime you're not feeling 100%, come see me at the clinic. I'll take good care of you, I promise. All right. Yeah, she won't be cheap, though, she says. All right, I'm curious how that'll go. All right. And let's go talk to Raphael. Maybe he'll know more about tools. Hey, Raphael. Do you know anything about tools? I don't have anything else yet. Uh, materials. No, that's not what I was looking for. Objects? Fence gate? No. This is, this is all like, this is all, uh... Yeah, buildings and stuff, right, but... We already have a coop, so we don't need that. Alright, so... Raphael's a bust. It has to be something simple, I think. Mayor Julia, what's going on? I'm so happy you moved here, Modi. Once upon a time, young people had little choice but to leave Orange Town in search of economic opportunity. But now young people are moving here to start a new life. Warms my heart to see hometown prosper. Yeah, you're right. It does. I'm so happy you moved here, Modi. Alright. Uh, Benjamin, do you know where we can get tools, buddy? You have a fine amount of energy to do farm work. Watering crops, chopping wood, tending to animals, all these consume stamina. Working hard is part of and parcel of life. If you push yourself too hard, you'll run out of stamina and you'll collapse, okay? Yeah, this looks like you have like a little shop here, doesn't it? I mean, he could sell us something. There's also the sheriff around here. Have you had a chance to go to the mountains yet? You can forge a lot of stuff there. Yeah, okay. Thanks for that idea. I will do that tomorrow. I just gotta find tools. I need to find tools now. Oh, okay, so we're on spring day four here. Let's see what we got here. Hello, sweetie. I know you just moved here. How's life on the farm so far? Yesterday, your father he said he wanted to retire. They hired someone your age to be his boss. He isn't handling it very well. Hope to see you here from you soon. Sending you a small gift. Uh, don't forget your mom. Mom sent you a letter and asked me to write back. I should find out some way to do that. Oh, and mom sent a few envelopes. It's nice of her. Anything else? I can't read my mail. Well, the hands are busy. Read mail. Hey, Modi, can you help a girl out? I'm running out of ingredients for some medicines. I need 10 jasmines. They can be found around the mountains and forests. So not like I'm going there myself. Give you a nice reward if you bring them to me. Bonnie. Okay. All right, Bonnie's jasmines. Yeah, we can do that. So, we have no tools. Um, Once again here, still. Uh, I think that we might need to talk to the blacksmith, though. I feel like that's the way forward. But, he wasn't really forthcoming with information on that. So let's take another look at him. It might not be open yet today. We'll see what happens. Otherwise, we'll just farm some uh, farm some oranges for a minute while it opens up here. It's early in the day. Oh, I probably should water my crops while we're waiting on this. So I'll go water some stuff, and then I'll come back and check on uh, the uh, blacksmith here. It has to be it. All right, let's go take a look see the blacksmith has anything we can buy. Upgrade tools, refine ore. Mm, not him. Where the heck can we get tools? Hey, Fi, how's it going? Oh, bananas, I forgot my wallet. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use such awful language. That's a bad word, bananas? You better watch out, Mo. Your mom's gonna wash your mouth up with soap at this rate. But I'm a farmer. What? I don't understand that direction quite yet. Hey, who are you? Raphael. Yeah, okay. You have nothing to say to us. Oh, boy, it's frustrating because we don't have anything we can do until we really get tools, I think. Let's walk as far left as we can today. Oh, we found something new at least. Look at this. Tracks? In a cave or mine? Minecart tracks? Yeah, we could deal with that. I wonder if there's a part of town we're not noticing yet um, that might have a stuff have stuff for us, or another another town over or something like that that we could we could visit. 
Uh, is this the train station where we came in? Because I don't remember. I don't remember where we came in exactly. Hmm. This might be where we came in. Because the uh, the mayor picked us up someplace here. This looks kind of like it. And let's walk across all this. Can we walk on the tracks? No, we can't. Alright, so let's head back to that cave then. That mine. Let's see if we can get in there. Hello? Well, who are you? Roberto, if they've sent you here to convince me to go home, forget it. I won't leave without my dog. Little Pom is probably scared somewhere. I won't... I won't... Little Pom's probably scared somewhere, but I know she'll come back to me. I won't... So I won't leave this place yet. If you see her anywhere, please let me know. Find Pom in the mountain cave. Found this man waiting for his dog to return. Maybe I should try to find the dog for him. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we can't really get in here, though, without any tools. So, still, same thing's holding us back as before. Unfortunately. Oh, we found Pom! Hey, Pom! Well, she looks really scared. She should back to her owner. Well, that's something, at least. Um, we are really far away. I don't even know where we are anymore. Uh, so we're up above the mountain right there. There's, there it is down there. I don't know how to get back over there very easily. Uh, I kind of ran all the way around everywhere here. Uh, just trying to, like, figure out where we need to go. Um, everything's blocked off. You see, like, this is blocked off. The, uh, all of the different avenues are always blocked by something we can't remove right now. Uh, we don't have the means. So, uh, yeah, it's a little frustrating. We can't, we can't, we want to buy tools. We can't buy tools. We can't get anywhere right now until we get this done. But maybe Palm is the answer. We kind of just went in a big loop just now, though. I can't figure out how we can get back out of where we are. Um, I could, I could see about, can I put the dog in my pocket? No, I can't. Uh, that would be too convenient, right? What if we go up this way? Did this work before? No, it still goes back in a circle. If I go home, will I drop the dog? I can get there from home. Yeah, it's okay, we got the dog still, good. All right, so we got Pom. Let's take the dog with us. I don't know if there's a way to make the dog follow us, but we're just gonna go. And bring the dog to the owner here quick. Um, we'll get back to the, uh... I think it's over here, right? Yes. So yeah, we went all over the, over the place to get over here. Yeah, that's what it was. It was over here. Okay, so we got the, we got the dog. Here we go. Hey, bud. Roberto, we found your dog. Pom, you're finally here. Where have you been, little girl? Let's go home and play a lot. Want to run? Okay. Well, that opened up some avenues for us here. Our stamina is pretty low, though. We should probably head back home. But we might not be able to, not be able to do anything in here anyways, given what we've seen so far. Well, maybe we get this. That's ore. Okay, so maybe we need ore to make tools. I mean, what do we get there? Because I know that the, the blacksmith was selling us uh, ore. That's clay, okay. Rocks we can pick up at home, no problem. Where are we gonna become trapped here is my question. How deep in the mine here I'm gonna get before uh, I can no longer go any further. Okay. Well, we're sure to following the maze just fine. On tracks. Can't do anything about that. Hey, we found a chest, though. An iron sickle! Hey, we got something! Awesome! Well, that changes everything. Oh, boy. That was well worth the trip. Okay, so interesting. And I can see what they mean about it being a uh, kind of like a, a Legend of Zelda type thing. But that actually changes quite a bit for us. We can, we can do so much now. Uh, let's return home. And we'll take on the rest of uh, one more day here, a little bit more one day. Uh, running out of stamina for this day. But uh, we can definitely clear a lot of our farm now. Uh, should be pretty good. So, let's go to sleep and then take on the next day. Alright, we're on to spring five. It was the fifth already, so we only slept for like four hours last night. Our stamina's full though, at least. Oh, we got our turnips today too. Now, first five turnips belong to Benjamin. So we'll drop those off for him in just a minute here. Let's get this all harvested though. 
And the puppy wants to say hi today. Uh, we don't have quite enough water to get all of these right now, but we'll uh, hit the uh, the uh, Blake over there in a second here. We just need to hit the mailbox also here. Let's take a look and see what the mailbox has for us. Read the mail. Oh, I can send mail. What can I all send it to? Mom. Oh, nice. About my farm. Oh, we're gonna send mom an email. Uh, email. Okay, we're gonna send her an electronic regular mail about my farm. It's done. Mom should be receiving a letter by tomorrow. Awesome. So, uh, what's the letter in here say though? Modi, thank you for finding Pond yesterday. I was so happy I forgot to thank you in person. I don't plan to return to Orange Town anytime soon, but I wanted to give you a gift. I left my trusty hammer in a cave somewhere in the mountain. If you find it, you can keep it for yourself. Roberto. Uh, alright. A hammer in the mountain. That doesn't mean the same cave where I was. He probably doesn't mean the same cave where I was. I should probably find another one. Okay. Well, that certainly will open up avenues for us now, though, because we can cut down all these, uh, these little, uh, things here. I want to... This is kind of clunky, actually. There we go. There we go. Yeah, so it's going to take a lot of stamina to clear this up, but this certainly will open up a lot of new avenues for us here. And I, I get that we can't just buy stuff now. It's it's, it's all about uh, exploring and finding the stuff. So that is actually an interesting way of doing it. You don't start with all the tools like normal. Uh, it's not just for sale where you have to buy everything. You know, Harvest Moodles give that stuff right away. But uh, here, you have to work for it a little bit. You explore around. It's kind of an uh, interesting way of doing it. But I'm glad that we did find it eventually. Um, let's go take our first five turnips to Benji quick. And we'll see what he has to say for himself. And then uh, I'll wrap the episode up there, I think. There he is. I don't give him enough time to come back outside. Hey, bud. Oh, hey, Modi. You have the turnips I asked for? How'd you know? Uh, yes, I have it. Let's see. see. Yep, it's it's all here. Thanks so much, Modi. If you need to buy seeds or farming supplies, Sergey is selling some of the excess stock at the general store. Okay, let's go up there and buy some more seeds for our turnips. And then uh, we'll sell this stuff off and then explore around in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode once again. Uh, still withholding judgment on if we're going to continue this or not, so... If you do enjoy it, make sure to leave likes and comments. Let me know that you are interested in seeing more. I'm going to buy just five of these right now. Uh, and put those in our pack. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more of this. It is kind of an interesting game, and I would mind at least... I'm going to do at least one more episode for sure. Uh, beyond that, let me, not, let me know if you guys want me to continue further or not. Um, I'm not really looking to do like 100 episodes for a game right now, but uh, I could definitely pour some time into this. This is kind of, a, kind of an interesting game. Uh, and I really want to see what happens when we start exploring around here a little bit. So I'm not going to worry about too much about the farming aspects of this. I'm going to worry about the exploration right now and getting all the tools and everything like that. So that'll be the adventure for next episode. Thank you guys so much for checking out this one. And I'll see you guys back next time for more. Have a good night.